Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today is May 10th and it is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all your moms out there. And if you are a mom watching, happy Mother's Day. Well, this is a surprise. It's camping season, so the camper's out. Is the pup dog, Kasher. Girlfriend's Jenna. Five speed, of course. Look at that. The work dump truck got all redone, all painted up. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the shine in it, but metallic, maybe a little bit in there. But the old Malibu. All right. So today we're headed up to my brother's house. We're going with the 2017 Dirt Max. We're gonna do a little video. I already washed and detailed my truck. I think he's detailing his, so we're gonna do a video. We'll talk about some stuff. See what we can get ourselves into. So yeah, here we go. We're headed up. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. So here it is, this is my brother's 2017 Duramax, it's got the sport package, color matched grill, bumpers and whatnot. Now this truck is lowered 3 quarters of an inch from factory in the front, he's got it cranked down, plus with the 420's on it sits about just shy of 2 inches lower than a normal uh, 3 quarter ton truck would in the, in the front. Now this is 20 by 10 fuel turbos with the 420s and these size are 305 50 obviously I just said it's on a 20 inch rim so they're just about a 32 by 12 and a half so yeah there's no stretch going on fit really nice this truck does have some stuff done to it I'll go over that real quick for the people that don't know there are Calvert racing cow tracks on this truck he does have two inch drop shackles in here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but they're up there. So it sits about two inches lower in the back. It's got the cow tracks tightened down so it really squats and goes very nicely. This truck does have an S and B cold air intake. The most recent thing he has done is he went through HP tuners and got some TCM tuning down. So higher line pressure really tightens up the shifts really feel it when he gets into it first through fourth really bumps good and there's no more rev hang or anything like that it really sits down and goes so yeah that's basically it obviously he has a tinted he has a brow on it he does have kryptonite tie rods on here because tie rod sleeves aren't the way to go just buy the whole kryptonite kit look how heavy duty that thing is guaranteed for life by uh, kryptonite no matter what you're doing, pulling, racing, jumping, off-roading, street driving, you name it, they'll cover it for life. All you gotta do is fill out the warranty, so yeah. I almost forgot to fit these wide tires, 12 and a half tires on a 10 inch rim with this. I believe it's negative 24 offset, but don't hold me to it. He had to space the bumper forward about a half inch, maybe a little bit more. You can see the body lines, but that's so he can clear it at full turn and it's not very noticeable. You probably wouldn't notice if I wanted to say, but if you're trying to run these size tires on this truck lowered, that's what you're going to have to do. So here we have some of the parts. Now this is the factory TCM. So like I said, they replaced that. Obviously the HP tuners OBD T2 sensor where it plugs in so we can tune that when he orders the ECM. This is a RevMax thermostat bypass. This will keep the trans 50 degrees cooler on any given day. Here's the downpipe obviously, coated, wrapped already. Here's the EGR delete and all that. Obviously waiting to do that. Part number 680NM, five inch, no muffler, made by FlowPro. So he has that and that's ready to go. Got the EGR, 
the trans cooler, thermostat bypass, the downpipe, getting ready to tune it with this once he orders the ECM. Here's the old TCM, so that's just set aside. Not gonna need that, but yeah. So here are the, some of the parts that he plans on putting on in the upcoming months. Just to clarify, when he bought the trans tuning for this truck, he bought it through HP tuners. It was the only option to get it. And through HP tuners, kinda, he bought the tune with the TCM from CTT. So it's kinda, it's a CTT product, but it's through HP tuners. It really squats down and goes with how he has the truck set up on these soft tires, the cow tracks, and the drop shackles. So when this truck does get tuned eventually and deleted and all that happy nonsense, it will be very fast. It'll set up to race. The street truck. It's a street truck. It's not a devoted race truck. It's not a show truck. Not a pulling truck. But yeah, there you go. It can pull a camper or a car trailer and still be set up to go fast. changing out the TCM here, trans control module which is located right there. He has a CTT tuned TCM we're going to be putting on here so it's very simple I'll show you. Here it is, this is the TCM he has that we're going to be installing. So if you look right here, the wiring harness which goes to the back of the TCM we have to undo and then you can see these plastic clips right here. So it holds the TCM in, there's no bolts or anything, so we're going to undo that harness and then pop that out, pop the note in, and then reconnect the wiring harness. Just giving you a warning, be careful when you're taking this wiring harness out of your TCM as it's very fragile and people are having issues with the clips breaking, so just got to be careful. 